Can, can you just tell me how satisfied are you with what you've seen this far here at the Green Flight Challenge? Oh, this is fantastic. We, uh, at NASA, we've been thinking about ways to foster the development of a new breed of aircraft, super fuel efficient, and we've been able to energize this community of incredibly creative and innovative inventors to do just that. And to have multiple aircraft out here, including the, uh, the Pipistrel entry behind me, that have been successfully able to get themselves airborne and demonstrate the, the wonders and the innovation of electric flight, that this makes NASA happy. Yeah. And uh, it's really the culmination of the dream that started for us several years ago in starting the competition. This is essentially the first year that, that electric planes have been the forerunners. Correct. Do you think this is going to be a, such a major step in aircraft development that this is like the decisive moment where we say, okay, electric now is a feasible solution? I, I think that this is a real turning point. Um, this is, and, and some of these designs have taken less than a year to mature from, from from the sketch pad to, to flying. So we've got the ability to manufacture these, these new designs quickly. The um, electric, the components of an electric drivetrain are being developed by industries over and above the aviation industry mm -hmm. to contribute to, um, to the, the components that are going into these aircraft themselves. So we have this great conglomeration of available equipment the new desire and emphasis to have hyper-efficient flight for automobiles, motorcycles, aircraft, all coming together at the same time. So this is a, this is a turning point, I think, in, uh, in history, actually. So the future is electric? I, I believe so. Okay. Uh, for certain applications, uh, electric is, is spot on. And now we have the opportunity to actually meet the, that application that's tailored for the electric solution now we have the technology to do it, and that's another thing that NASA is really trying to develop is the new technologies to enable these wonderful new missions. Mm -hmm. One more thing, do you ever think it's going to go mainstream as well? How long? Oh, gosh. So it's, anybody who tries to estimate these things is, uh, is setting, them, setting, more than setting themselves up to be wrong. Uh, so I, I won't try to do that. But um, yes, I, I think that uh, with the advent of, of electric transport, and we see this in the automobile industry now with hybrids and, um, and all electric vehicles coming in the, into the automotive applications, I think we'll see something similar happening in the aviation world too. Again, for those specific applications where electric power actually makes sense. Now we have the ability, when it makes sense, to actually execute on that mission. Okay, thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. My pleasure.